Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. This is a preview video of what I've been up to. Um, this is the mains conditioning hub that I'm uh, building at the moment. I, yeah, I'm doing a video on it so you'll be able to see how it, how it goes. But I thought I'd give you a preview for now. So, let's remove this piece here. And you can see where I've been routering out. So this part here is MDF this is just a template so I can router out for the uh, socket so the back socket the back part of the socket the metal box there okay it's going to slide into there okay and as we so we're, we're going to have four of these all together in each one so I'm building two of these but for now I'm just building the first one in this section here is where the mains filter is going to fit and down at the back here, there, is where the IEC plug is going to go. This is all going to be trimmed up yet. It's all going to be finished nice and neatly. Um, the actual mains conditioning hub itself is going to be covered in a, a leather. So it gives that... Uh, I'm a stickler for making things look really good as well as sounding really good as well. So, and then, so this, this goes right the way through. So this is where all the wire goes. So it can connect up to uh, each uh, socket. Okay, this end here is going to have a plug in there. A really nice uh, oak plug that I'm going to produce. And I'm going to fit a uh, an earth terminal on there. So these are the back plates there. And we're going to be using these MK Logic unswitched sockets. Why unswitch? Because we don't want any noise coming in through switches. So, um, this is going to be really, really good. And obviously, this is going to be made up of three layers of this ply, which is a, a marine ply, or a birch ply. I can't remember what it is now, but it's one or the other. And then this other, this other plate here, the last piece of wood, is going to go underneath there so it's going to be a really nice thick piece and obviously the MDF at the top is going to be removed okay so it's going to be nice and thick and heavy and then it'll have some feet on the underneath of it and that is going to be a wonderful mains conditioning hub once it's done um, it's all going to be done with very nice wiring and uh, we're going to use a 20 amp IEC socket for that end there yeah. <clears throat> which is going to be um, so we can you can swap out your mains cables as you want to go up and upgrade your mains cables to something slightly better you can do so this is only a preview video I thought I, while I was doing this today I thought I'll get a preview video up because this video is taking quite a long time so this won't be uploaded for a few weeks yet but it's in the process so some of you kept on asking me of uh, how's the uh, the next big project going and it's uh, it's going really well so i think that's that for that video so it's only a quick short video just to show you what's going on uh, my router bit needs to uh, be longer because i need to route straight down there and the bit that i'm using at the moment here we go it just won't go deep enough so i've got to, i've got to order another one which i'll be doing so this is just a, a small handheld uh, palm router really really nice a trimmer i think they call these but it, it does this job really really well so um <clears throat> so yeah i think that's it for this video i just want to do a quick video just to show you what i'm up to because i haven't uploaded this week so this is the upload for this week uh, i've got some other stuff in the pipeline as well but i really want to get cracked on with this now so thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell. So every time uh, I upload a new video, you're notified. And thank you for watching, guys.